The topic of today's presentation is emotion perception. What is it and how can it be improved? Let's begin with a definition. Within psychological literature, the term emotion perception refers to the identification of emotionally salient information within the environment. Scholars have identified two broad ways that humans perceive emotion. Auditory means, such as one's vocal inflections, and visual means, such as their facial expressions or posture. Thus, emotion perception provides the resources that inform inferences made about the emotional state of others, and is therefore considered an important ability in social functioning and communication. Although, theoretically, emotion perception should be simple for humans, as the structural hypothesis states that emotion perception is innate, reflexive, and a product of evolutionary adaptations, research suggests that this is not the case and therefore has aimed to acquire methods to improve emotion perception in those with an impairment, such as schizophrenic patients and the elderly, to enhance their social functioning. Here, we will discuss three empirically supported methods. Evidence has suggested that the deficit in emotion perception found in those with schizophrenia may be caused by a reduction in the time these individuals view facial features relevant to emotion perception, such as the eyes and the mouth. Therefore, interventions have targeted this. For example, the neuropeptide oxytocin, when administered through the nose, has been demonstrated to enhance one's fixation towards the eye region of others, and therefore improve one's ability to perceive emotion through visual means, specifically facial expression, as assessed on an emotion perception task. Furthermore, attention shaping interventions, utilising computerised attentional prompts, which focus participants' attention towards the central region of the face, have been found to improve emotion perception, specifically in psychiatric patients. Thus, these can be implemented therapeutically in schizophrenic patients to assist this demographic of individuals to enhance their social functioning, as social impairment is frequently cited as a prominent symptom of this disorder. With regard to the elderly, transcranial random noise stimulation has also been demonstrated to improve the perception of threat-based emotions, specifically in an older age demographic. When applied to the inferior frontal gyri, a region implicated in emotion perception that decays with age, transcranial random noise stimulation has been demonstrated to significantly improve perception of anger in participants aged 60 and over, therefore serving a further survival function by allowing the perception of danger. Thank you for watching. You can find more information on the topic of this presentation in the book chapter entitled Emotion Perception, What is Emotion Perception and How Can It Be Improved? The link for this chapter can be found in the video's description.